From the very look of it, this silk cotton tree has a menacing look to it, not just because of all the folklore surrounding it, but it bears a majestic look that has some in respect and others in fright. But for these two nature lovers, this tree played with their curiosity so much that they could not resist venturing up its sturdy trunk. A tree doctor by profession, Tyler from Toronto, Canada, ventured up first, and when he came down, he answered the million dollar question. Why climb this tree in particular, and what's up there? Um, it's the biggest tree we've seen here, and it's just there's so many different types of life in it, and we just wanted to go up there and see what was up there. There's thousands of these little bees, and it makes it look like the air and everything's moving around you. And there's a huge 20-foot tree growing out of the tree up in the top. There's all sorts of orchids, bromeliads, um, finger cactus, ants. <laughs> He estimated that this tree from ground to top may be about 82 feet tall. And Maya, a nature lover and aspiring tree doctor from Norway, said that climbing the tree was fun, noting that this tree was very unique. I never climbed a tree this big before, this fat. You know, I climb trees that are tall, but not, not like this one, not this massive. I never saw anything like it. Uh, the trunk is huge. Um, it's very old. It's just... I don't know what's with it. It looks special. The first time you see it, you notice that there's something about it. She also implored the Tobagonians to treasure their trees. So I'm hoping you all can take care of your forests and not cut it down for whatever purpose. Because a forest like this is really unique and we really need the forest. So even though many of us may never venture up this particular tree for whatever reason, who knows who would be next? Ayanna Carter, Channel 5 News.